So, real quick, before the video starts, if you guys enjoy it, remember to leave a like, and if you want to see more like it, remember to subscribe. Anyways, today we're back on Miner's Haven, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Black Friday update, giving some of my thoughts on it, and talking about the actual sales. Giving some of my opinions on the game passes and some of the things that you can buy, giving my thoughts on what you should actually be spending your money on and what you should be passing on this event. Now, if you're just interested in hearing about the game pass stuff, then you can skip forward a bit in the video. I'm going to be talking about the update just a little bit and giving my thoughts on it first. And starting on some of the update stuff, first of all, the winter map. Everything is all snowy now, it's all winter themed, and I think it looks really nice. I've always liked these sort of winter themed maps, I've always sort of enjoyed them, I've, I, I like the vibe, I definitely enjoy it, definitely a nice change of pace from the sort of dark and dreary Halloween map that we had. This update also made a lot of small quality of life changes, I'm not going to go through every single one of them because there's a lot of different things, but if you want to read through the change log, find all the very specific stuff yourself, you can. There were a lot of different optimization changes, and the ultimate result is that the game just feels a little bit smoother. Everything feels just a little bit better to play, and I think it's very nice. Obviously, this was meant to be just kind of a small patch, small little update, not adding too much, and getting these quality of life changes and these sort of reworks and rewrites to stuff is very nice. Having some of this, like, stuff on the back end change to make the game just feel smoother, I think, is very good. I know a lot of people are probably going to be missing some of those newer features, some of the new items and stuff from from an event like this, but I think that not getting them is actually probably a better thing here. Having the focus be more on optimization is obviously really nice for people who struggle to run the game, like myself. And it also means that they're putting more of their focus into actually working on Third Sacrifice and making a solid update that is going to be very good and fun to play. But I know a lot of people probably aren't going to be happy with some of the lack of features and are going to be bored still, but I think this is probably a good thing and in the long run it's probably going to be better for us. There are also a couple of old 2019 winter exotics that return, so if you didn't get those back then, you do still have a couple of items to go for in this update. Now, of course, it can't be a minor save and update without a couple of different bugs, so I'll mention those real quick. First of all, decimal rebirth items are just not obtainable right now. Don't know what happened, but they just kind of can't be gotten. Players have been noticing that you just kind of can't get them. They're just not in the game right now. Which, I mean, let's be honest here. Who really cares about the decimal rarity rebirth items? They're all garbage. It'll probably be fixed pretty soon, though. I don't expect this to last. Having an entire tier of rebirth item just not be obtainable is kind of whack, and I, I don't ex expect to see this bug lasting for very long. One other thing is that Inferno boxes aren't guaranteed on 20 skips anymore. I'm not 100% sure if this is a bug, but it's not in the change log, and it seems kind of kind of whack, so I'm, I'm considering it a bug for now. I hope it gets fixed. I hope it's not an intentional feature, because I think during Third Sacrifice, getting those Infernos for 20 skips guaranteed is going to be a very nice convenience thing. Thing, and I hope that sticks around. I like being able to guarantee Inferno boxes, so I hope to see that fixed. Hope to see it changed, but other than that, I don't think there have been any bugs with this update. Well, there there were bugs, but whatever there was ended up getting fixed out of the game, which is nice. As of right now, those are the only bugs that are still around as of me recording this video. Anyway, though, moving on past some of the update stuff, let's talk about sale stuff. Let's talk about the game passes and the UC and all the cheaper stuff. Now, first of all, as you can see here, this event is only going until the 30th, which is longer than we've had for some of the other Black Friday sales, but it is still a pretty limited window, so if you want to buy stuff, get in there now. Get your Robux and get your Game Passes as soon as possible because you have a very limited time to do it. Now, I do also want to mention the UC before we get into the Game Passes because I know a lot of people are going to be thinking about buying UC, but if you don't have some of those Game Passes, then I would definitely prioritize those over UC. UC, as helpful as it can be, has some pretty limited uses, and unless you already have the Game Passes or you're really trying to stock up or save for a certain exotic or something, I just wouldn't buy UC. I would focus on getting some of the Game Passes other than them. Probably seems obvious to some of you, but I'm sure some people were trying to make the decision between the two, and those are that's my two cents on it. Buy the Game Passes first. Speaking of the Game Passes, let's talk about them real quick. I'm not going to go super in-depth on the benefits of them and all that, but I'll briefly give my thoughts on, on if they're good or not. VIP, 40 Robux for for that price? I It's, it's great. Really cheap, decent benefits. Might as well get it. Go for it. It's super cheap. Absolute steal. Dark Knight, however, 500 Robux, it really doesn't give you that many benefits. You're gonna get a portable upgrader, which is good for late game, and you get a sword, which is convenient, but that's basically all of the actual benefit that you get with this thing, so it's, it's really a, a more invested player's game pass. If you're a more casual player, or if you have limited Robux, Definitely don't go for Dark Knight. Definitely save for some of the other stuff. Now, Premium, this is this is going to be a little bit better. It's a similar price point to Dark Knight, but it gives a lot more actual benefits for 
more casual and mid-game players. And it also has stuff for some later game players, so pretty much whoever you are, if you've got the money and you're looking to get some nice benefits, premium is a good choice. It gives you the daily gift bonus for crystals, it gives you the mag box chance, the ore limit, all of those are pretty nice things. It's gonna be nice in the long term if you're opening your daily gift, you'll be making a lot of crystals off it. The mag box chance is nice for getting exotics. This is just a solid game pass, good bang for your buck. Definitely worth going for, I think. Moving on to Executive, this one has some really nice benefits, but it's also 1,800 Robux, which is very expensive. So this one is only going to be for the most dedicated of players. Now that being said, if you are a dedicated player and you've got the Robux for this, now is a great time to buy it. It's a lot cheaper than it would be otherwise, and some of the benefits are really, really helpful. You get a daily gift bonus, which again, good for the long term. The Executive Pillars is a really, really powerful upgrader. And of course, the base size increase is very significant for building optimized fast setups and in the current meta having that extra space is extremely impactful and helpful to you so if you've got the money if you're a dedicated player and you've been thinking about buying executive or the extra base size sounds really nice to you go for it if you're on the more casual side if you don't really care about super optimized setups and being the fastest you can possibly be and all that definitely give this one a pass because it's a lot of robux to be spending on one game pass Moving back real quick to Swordmaster, which is a limited time game pass, this is one that I think you should definitely give a pass if you're a more casual player. This game pass really doesn't give you all that many actual benefits, it's really more of just a collector's game pass in my opinion. There's no real reason to buy this unless you really, really want some of the benefits from it, like the Illumina, which is just nice for speed. Or if you want the Swordmaster's Spirit, which is a bad furnace, but it's, it's cool to collect, it's nice to have. It's just a collector's game pass. It's expensive, a thousand Robux, so definitely pass up on this one unless you really, really want it and you've missed out on it in years past. There are all of those game passes, let's move on to the artifacts. And before I actually talk about the artifacts themselves, go into specific details, it is worth mentioning that the artifacts generally aren't going to be super worthwhile, at least in terms of the items. Some of them do have some really helpful perks. Some of the some of the perks can be very nice, and I think that they're worth it in a lot of regards. But for the items and for some of the perks, they just aren't worth the price. They're pretty expensive, and if you're buying them, you're buying them mostly because you're a collector and you want this the the funny joke items and all that. Of course, if you have the money though and you want to pick them up, then you can. And I'll talk about the ones that we know the benefits of first, and then I'll talk about these new ones, give kind of my thoughts and speculation on them. I can't really do much since we don't know what they're going to be doing, but I'll try my best. That being said, though, we can talk about the giant crate, the gambler's dice, and the circus tent. We'll start off with the giant crate, work our way up, and the giant crate game pass is going to give you a giant crate in your daily gift, and this is going to have a chance of giving you some pretty nice boxes. I believe you get regular boxes, unreal boxes, and you have a chance of getting a regular unreal and an inferno from one, so that's pretty nice. I believe it gives some RP, I don't know the exact numbers on it, but it works like another any old crate in the game and it gives you some boxes which is pretty nice and it also gives you a very small iron mine as well as a nice little joke item i'm sure some of you have seen this in like blake's videos and stuff it's a it's a very small iron mine it doesn't take up a whole lot of base space at all and it comes with the giant crate pass and with the giant crate pass you're really only getting the giant crate in your daily gift that's the only real tangible benefit that's really going to be the same story with a lot of these the items don't do a whole lot they're all just kind of joke fun items the the main benefit of these is is just going to be the perk and this one it has a decent one but for 150 robux it's a little bit steep i do think it'll be one of the more beneficial artifacts to buy it does have a nice little perk so if you want to get it and have the tiny iron mine along with it then go for it that being said and this is going to be the case with all of the artifacts prioritize some of the other game passes over them if you're very limited on your money i would absolutely buy something like vip and premium and even executive if you've got a lot over some of these other game passes here anyways moving on to the gambler's dice which is also 150 robux which is relatively cheap and this is going to give you a bonus of up to six uc extra in your daily gift but also a chance of actually subtracting three uc from your daily gift so this one it really lives up to the name you're really you're really making a gamble if you get this one it has the chance to actually hurt your daily gift now on average it is going to improve your daily gift and you're going to gain from this more than you're going to lose from it just from how the odds work you're going to be gaining more from it so it is generally going to be better for you, especially if you're consistently opening your daily gift. You're going to be earning UC from it over time. This one is also going to be giving you the giant dice, which is a giant dice that you can kick around. This is very much a joke item in the vein of the others. It's a, it's just a dice that you can kind of kick around, and then you move it, and you got a hitbox on your base that 
is impossible to find, which is always fun. But this Game Pass does actually give an item that is genuinely useful in the form of the Lucky Infuser, and if you infuse yourself with this, you have a very high chance of getting clovers from crates. In fact, I believe it got buffed up actually to be a guaranteed chance, so if you wanna, if you're in need of Lucky Clovers, then this is actually a really good Game Pass for you. You'll be getting the benefit of extra UC, and you'll also be able to use the Lucky Infuser and collect a lot of extra Lucky Clovers. So this one for that very specific use case is actually really good. Outside of that, I don't know if it's necessarily super worth it, especially because of the chance to actually lose UC. I do think it's nice, but this one has a little bit worse of a perk in my opinion than the Giant Crate, but if you want that and also the Lucky Infuser, then this one's pretty good. And also you get the Giant Dice, which are fun troll items. Moving on now to the Circus Tent. This is a 200 Robux artifact, so it's a little bit more expensive, and this one I think is probably going to be the least valuable of the three. Now perk-wise, this is going to give you a bonus in your daily gift if you get a three streak of it every three days that you open your daily gift in a row you're gonna be getting a free shout. Now, if you're someone who likes to shout a lot, if you find yourself wasting a lot of UC buying shouts, then this is gonna be a godsend. Buying this Game Pass is absolutely gonna be worth it. If you're consistently opening your daily gift, then you're gonna be earning a lot of extra free shouts, and it's ultimately gonna save you a lot of UC. Especially with how expensive shouts can be, this is actually pretty good if you find yourself shouting a lot. That being said, it doesn't really provide much of a tangible benefit to you outside of that. You'll be saving money on it if you shout a lot, but shouting doesn't really give you anything. It's not like the giant crate where you're- where you, it's not like the giant crate where you- it's not like the giant crate where you'll be earning boxes or like the gambler's dice where you'll be getting clovers and extra UC. This is purely just for the sake of shouting. So again, if you shout a lot, worthwhile, but it doesn't really provide much of a benefit, so not really worth it. And in terms of items, this one isn't really super great either. This one comes with a couple of joke items. Neither of these are particularly useful right now. We've got the circus cannon and the giant infuser. The circus cannon used to be a very overpowered item that you could use to launch ores very consistently, but since we've got the railgun cannon now and this thing got nerfed, it, it's really just a joke item now. It, it flings you, you can fling yourself, you can fling ores with it still, but inconsistently. It can launch you around, I'll throw myself in the cannon just so you can see, it'll just send you flying right across the map, so it can be a fun little troll item, fun little joke item that you can mess around with. But again, doesn't really provide any tangible benefit to you as a player, it's just kind of there as a joke item. And same thing with the giant infuser, there's really no actual benefit to this, it's just a funny joke item. You can walk on it, and you become a very big boy, and it does have a nice little synergy with the resetting infuser. If you haven't seen this, then you can become very large. You step on it again, and you become a very, very chonky boy. So it again, funny joke item. You can you can mess around with it a lot and it can create some shenanigans, but no real tangible benefit to you. So if those items look fun to you, if those look nice and if the shouts seem nice, then go for it. But other than that, this isn't a particularly good artifact in terms of actually providing you a benefit. I would definitely go for the giant crate over it and the gambler's dice behind that. And now with all of those out of the way, I'm briefly going to talk about all of these new artifacts and try and give some speculation and thoughts on them. Now obviously we don't really know what these are going to do and we can't really predict that, but we can look back at some of the old artifacts to kind of get an idea of what they might do and where they might fall in terms of benefit. Now, generally with these artifacts, the cheaper ones are probably going to be better because they're probably going to have some kind of decent perk to them, along with a funny joke item. A lot of times, the more expensive artifacts aren't really as worthwhile, so if you're working on limited money, I would probably go for some of the cheaper ones. They're likely going to be more useful. For example, last year with the Void Cube, that's one of the most useful of the artifacts, and it's the cheapest that was released. And the most expensive one, the Berez's Car Keys, is one of the worst in terms of perks. Now, the mid-tier ones have have pretty decent benefits. All of them provided a pretty decent benefit, so if you're able to get them, then they all would probably be worth picking up just to have. And looking at some of these as well, you can kind of see the, the Epic Motorcycle, this is probably gonna give you just a motorcycle item or some kind of vehicle type thing. So I mean, if, if you care about having like a placeable vehicle or something, this might be a, a decent bet to get that. If that if that's the type of like joke item that you'd be interested in getting, definitely go for that. The, the several dominoes, you're probably gonna be getting some domino items with which could actually be pretty cool in creating some little domino setups and some stuff on your base. So if that's something that you're interested in, then maybe getting the domino one would be worth it. That being said, that's really all I've got for these artifacts. It's it's really hard to speculate on these because we you can't really tell what they're going to do before they come out. I For all they know, the Rusted Minecart is going to be b the best artifact and it's going to like let you move ores from Azure Mines over to Miner's Haven or something. I don't know. Regardless, if you're looking to buy these artifacts, I would probably go for some of the cheaper ones first. Those are probably going to be better bang for your buck, better value, and... 
again, buy them not expecting to get any, like, super crazy benefits or anything super good out of them. Just expect joke items and some potentially decent perks. God, I wish I had more to say about these, but we just, like, don't know what they're gonna do. Anyway, yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. This has gone on for a little bit too long, but at this point, I've been trying to record this video for so long that I don't care. It's a little bit longer than I like, but hopefully that extra little bit of detail that I went into is helpful for you guys. Big thank you to everyone watching, and big thank you to all my channel members. We've got Crowbars, Vajutsu, Dissa, Luke, Aramix, Phantom Ace, the MLG Ben, Sims for Waifus, Atrax, Ninja, Abyss, Diamond, Gage, and Alex. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, it's down next to the subscribe button. If you want to check that out, you can become a simp for me. And otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Maybe I'll be more consistent with uploads. Maybe I'll stream again one day. Who knows? Anyways, uh, I'm gonna head out. Love you, hate you. Peace, everyone.